Hi pals, welcome to my channel. My name is Mao, and I am a baby stay. I am new to K-pop, and I am in the process of watching and consuming every single Stray Kids video that exists. Now, I know there's a lot of lore to their music videos and their, their skiz flicks and all of that, and I don't know anything about it. I have not watched any of their music videos, but I've listened to like all of their music. Um, <laughs> I'm obsessed. I thought it would be really fun to share my little stray kids, my little K-pop journey with you all because I know that a lot of people really like K-pop and I need more people in my life that like K-pop and that like stray kids. My love language is sharing my hyperfixations and my special interests with others. So that's what we're doing here. Okay. Okay. Um, so I'm going to start. I don't know where I, I looked up so many different things that told were trying to tell me like the order in which I should watch the music videos to get all of the lore, which music videos were important for the lore, and I got no conclusive right answer on everything. So what we're going to do is just watch all of the videos um, in order, starting from the beginning. And I'm just going to watch through all of them, probably do like two or three per video. I don't know. We'll see. Then also watch like the skiz flicks and then eventually once I get through all of that once I get through the meat and potatoes of all of the videos Break down the lore because I know there's a lot. There's a lot to consume in the terms of Stray Kids content um, I would also really like to react to and watch the competition because I know that Stray Kids started through a competition through JYP and I think it would be really really fun to watch that with you all um, and kind of react to that and kind of see where they all started because I just I'm such a oh I'm such a whore for lore I love lore I love like the underdog story and I feel like they have that and that like found family that they have it just like really makes my heart full and it brings me so much joy so definitely gonna want to do that so let me know in the comments what kinds of Stray Kids content y'all want me to react to or any specific things that I should be watching or should be known of because like I said I am a baby stay. If you like my content by the way be sure to like and subscribe. I also do stream on Twitch. I normally play Final Fantasy 14 and I also like to open my K-pop albums on there. I've only got, I've gotten a couple albums from uh, Rockstar um, and I really enjoy opening those on stream. It's really fun to, to share that with everybody on streams. Okay, so let's, um, get into it then. <laughs> okay. So we are starting. Oh no, I didn't set this up. <laughs> Oopsies. So we are starting with the first music video on the Stray Kids YouTube page that they have, which is Elevator. And then we're going to watch, um, oh no, I have the wrong thing open. I can't move on, baby doll. Don't mind me. And then we're going to watch Grr after that. Come here, Chimney. Chimney would like to say hi. Do you like Stray Kids? Yay, I love Stray Kids. Okay, so this is Elevator. Right. Elevator, okay. Oh. Oh, <laughs> chills. Sorry. <laughs> His voice is just so sultry. They look so young. Young Chickman, look at him. The bass. Look at Chickmit. Okay. Look at Chani. I love the like blue hair he had here. Oh, this is back when Woojin was still in. Ooh, ooh. Okay, I'm trying to process the story here. Oh no. 
This feels like they're processing like a lot of shit through this song. <laughs> like I don't know what they're processing, but it feels like a lot is being processed here. And... I feel like this is a lot about mental health. There's nobody to hold it, yeah. The way that they like. Like, this feels like it's about really serious, dark, like, mental health topics, but it's just something that just makes me want to dance. Like, I just want to dance to it. Is he literally going to hell? Felix! That doesn't look like hell. Is this a lot about... Ooh! 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 Wait. This doesn't look like hell. But I feel like a lot of this feels like it's about them processing everything that they went through during the like Stray Kids competition. Like that's what that feels like to me. I'm gonna look up the meaning of this song because I like to just, I really, I like to know the meaning behind the songs. Oh my god, I was right. It reflects the struggles and challenges faced by young people as they strive to achieve their dreams. So it literally is about the struggles that they, I'm assuming, to help them process the struggles that they face during the competition. The lyrics convey the feeling of being trapped in a metaphorical elevator, representing the difficulties and uncertainty of pursuing one's aspirations. <laughs> I love them so much, and I love that their first song, it makes a lot of sense to me that their first song was talking so heavily about, like, mental health because, you know... Bang Chan literally talks so much about his mental health and about what he had to overcome during the competition and after spending like seven years in the training. So that's honestly so fitting and so beautiful. Okay. So the next video is video. The next video we're going to watch is Gur. Gur. Okay. What is the meaning behind Gur? I also know. I don't know all of the stuff behind it or like the reasoning or anything, but I do know that there is a member that is no longer in Stray Kids. So I know since I'm watching some of their earlier stuff, this is not the same makeup of the group now. Okay, so Gur is a song that delves into the complexities of the inner struggles and frustrations experienced by the members of the group. Ah, uh, so this is going to be also very similar vibes. The lyrics explore themes of identity, pressure, and the desire for understanding from others. Oh, this is going to make me emotional. I'm so invested in this group of men. <laughs> I'm so invested in them and I'm so invested in their well-being. I'm not kidding. Through vivid metaphors and powerful imagery, the song confronts the challenges faced by the members as they navigate their personal growth and development. Okay. Sets the tone for raw, for aggressive and raw emotions that are to follow throughout the track. Okay. So this, I'm guessing this whole, this whole album, I'm guessing, is about a lot of, a lot of those struggles. I haven't really picked up on anything lore related yet. Um, cause I know there's like stuff about like the Stray Kids, like metaverse and stuff like that. Um, but I think those are only in specific videos. So if I should be watching only those specific videos in order, let me know because I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing yet. All right, we're going to watch Gur now. Gur is the um, second music video on our list. So that is what we're going to watch next. 
Ooh, off to a very <laughs> raw start. Look at this. I can, I, I definitely sense that like raw, like aggressive tone they were setting. My mind, oh yeah. He's killing it. I really like blue haired Bang Chan. Um, Christopher, you look good with blue hair. Just saying. This is the one who's not in there anymore. Oh, he's always been. Changbin has also been a solid rapper. Always. And Han. They're all so good. I, I can't even with them. They're so freaking talented. This song very much feels like about like like when you're feeling like really overwhelmed by things and expectations. Which really does set the tone for this whole album. All the beginning of, of Deep Felix, of, of Deep, Deep Felix voice. This is the beginning. It's just the beginning, Felix, just to wait. <laughs> I want to see that dance sequence again. I want to see that dance sequence again. Oh! Do that girl again. Do that girl again. I want to hear that. I want to hear the girl again. Like that is an earworm. Do it again. Oh wait, did it go back to hell? How did it go back to elevator? I don't understand. I just wanted to hear the girl again. It's fine. It's fine. That is an earworm that will stay in my ear for a while. Go back. One more time. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm going to be honest. I haven't really listened to... I've listened to a lot of Stray Kids stuff, but I haven't listened to their first album at all. Like, at all. So this is, like, my first real introduction to that. But I wanted to start from the beginning because it just felt like in order to really get into the meat and potatoes that is Stray Kids, I really have to get to the beginning. Like, I have to get to where they started to see where they came now because you know as a new stay i came like i i started listening to stray kids and and got into k-pop and got in, into them post rock star so like i'm very new to this very very new to this um so i feel like in order to like do them justice i really need to get into the meat, meat and potatoes of their beginning albums which is really exciting but oh my goodness hold on i want to see this dance sequence again because i unapologetically need to perceive bang chan <laughs> Ooh, the sequence there I feel like there's so much to consume. I need to watch these like multiple times to understand, <laughs> to like process everything in my. La 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 la. 
No. La 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 la. Wait. 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 Do it again. Do it again. La 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 la. And then la 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 la. Do you see how far they've come? Do you see how far they've come? The lalas have always been there. They've always been there. Okay. Okay. I'm enjoying this deep dive. I'm enjoying this deep dive. Thank you so much for um, watching my reaction to the first two music videos from Stray Kids. I'm really enjoying this deep dive into their beginning, into the start of their music career because I've seen a lot about their current stuff. Um, I haven't watched the music videos for their current stuff yet um, because I kind of, I really just want to authentic, I just want to watch them all in order. I want to be able to re react to them all authentically and really like watch their journey as musicians because that's like, that's my favorite part about musicians and, and especially good musicians, good groups and good like bands because you can really see them grow as a unit and see how far they come and watch them bond together closer over time and i really really want to watch that the next videos we will react to on my next video we'll watch district nine and we'll watch spread my wings which is a performance video so we're gonna watch those videos in our next video i also might watch the stray kids competition soon so that i can get those up um, I want to watch a lot of their stuff though. They have so much <laughs> stuff on their YouTube to consume. Like there's Chani's room, there's, um, the, the two kids show, like there's literally so much stuff on there for me to consume. So, um, let me know if there's anything specific that y'all want to watch me react to, or that y'all think would be good for me to consume to get more into the meat and potatoes of Stray Kids lore and their journey as musicians and as, as a group of members. If you did like this video, please feel free to um, like and subscribe. It means a lot to me and I will continue with my little K-pop journey, my little baby K-pop journey. I'm so excited. Thank you so, so much for watching and hanging out with me. I hope you have a lovely day and take care of yourself because you're the only that exists, okay? So always remember to take care of yourself and do the things that make you happy, um, even if they make you feel a little cringe, like filming your first YouTube video. <laughs> How do you end a YouTube video? I don't know what I'm doing. Anyways, bye-bye. <laughs>